Wig Adventure. And the adventure for today is Aesthetica's Jones in R628F. And it's described as chestnut brown with red frost. Nope, I guess you could see, I guess you could, uh, not a lot of red in there, I, but I guess you could see, yeah, I guess you could, uh, I don't know if the camera's picking it up good, the color. It's probably not, I, I do see more of a red on my side. I could, uh, I could probably take you guys outside. I could incorporate an outside into this. All right, so let's look at her cap. She's got a basic cap. Okay, so she's got basic front. This is a little scratchy. It's not, they could at least put us a little bit of something soft here. We've got very basic ears. You got a little loop there. You've got an extended nape with bra. So not a very inexpensive cap. I paid, let's see, I bought this off of name brand wigs for $128.80. Um, but I love it. It's a like a chopped shag. So I've got my Milano wig grip cap. So if you're new here, um, what I do is um, I show you a little bit of a quick review of the wig and I do an install of the wig that I'm wearing for the day, show you my outfit, and then I come back at the end of the night and I give you a summary of how the wig wore for the day. So it's not really a regular review channel. It's literally taking you through Pam's adventure of learning how to wear wigs. All right, so I'm gonna give her a little bit of a shake. I haven't shaken my wigs up in a while. Remember that would be my first thing is to give them a shake, shake, shake. But I haven't shaken them up in a while. So let's shake her up. I'm gonna put her on, make sure that she's locked in good underneath that cap in the back. And then let's make sure that she's situated right. Adjust those ears. Let's see, it's right there, so I got a good fit. It's a really good fit here, right? So we're adjusted good here. All right, so let's put a little bit of water. I don't think this wig has a lot of permatease. No, I'm not feeling a lot of permatease, but I do wanna shake it up a little bit. Little bit of permatease up here. Not a lot down at the bottom. I don't want a lot of lift. I just want to, you know. And it's not really a, um, a bang that I want to do. It's just sort of like a just like a yeah it's kind of how I want it you know just kind of say it's like a left it's really all I want to do with Jones and I think that's all she's really meant to be you know just a really like a like a shag, I would say, right? Like a shag look. I just wanted to break up the fibers a little bit, you know. Yeah, I like her. I like Jones. Um, anything else about her? Aesthetica Jones, Chestnut Brown. I gave you the colors. I paid 128 for her at name brand wigs. So there's not much to do as far as styling her. I'm not going to mess with the bangs. I'm not cutting it at all. I don't want to cut it. I think she falls fine. She's not in my eyes. 
All right, let me take you around all four sides. All, yeah. Yeah, she's cute. I like her today. She's a very light. So here's the thing that I, I um, it, it's not even what I think um, it's very important to understand as viewers is it's not, and this is what I feel like I want to make sure that I'm articulating. It is not just what the wig looks like, but you need to understand what the wig feels like because it could look beautiful but how it feels on when you put that wig on yourself is different for every single wig, right? And so that's what I think is important that we communicate to you is how this wig feels on your head. Does it feel heavy? Does it feel thick? Does it feel too big? Does it feel loose? Does it feel like you're, you know, you've got a lot on your head? Does it feel light? Like, I think it's really important as a viewer and as a wig wearer to understand how each wig feels, not even so, not so much always on what it looks like. I mean, it's extremely important on what it looks like, but it could look beautiful and feel terrible. And it's important for you, I feel, you know, doing the, this channel and, and showing you guys these wigs to really articulate how it feels as well. Um, this feels very light. It doesn't feel even like I have a wig on hardly. And that's where, um, and that's what the end of the day summary, I hope I try to articulate as well, is at the end of the day, what did this feel like all day long um, with me wearing it? So hopefully I've been getting that across as well. All right, that's my little spiel for today. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to notice, I put in every single, um, always check my description box because I put a link to the wig uh, where you can buy it in every single description box for every single wig. Even the ones that I purchase locally, I put a link to a website and usually I'll put, like I try to put ones that I've purchased from before like Ebony Line and Divas Tress, Diva Tress and some of the ones that I purchased from before. And if I haven't purchased from the site before where I found it, I try to put a note to say, you know, I haven't purchased from here before, but I found it here before. So every single wig that I post, um, and I'm gonna try to start putting how much I paid for it um, in, e in each of the description box before, but every single wig, I post a link to where to purchase the box. You know, whether it's Beauty Nook, Paulie Young, especially yours, Wig Studio One, name brand wigs, wig outlet, wherever I purchased it, I put a link for you to purchase it. All right, so just wanted to note that. All right, let me take you over to show you my outfit. All right, here is, um, oh, I didn't put shoes on yet today, but here's my outfit today. It's a pair of shorts. Again, I put one of those bra things in. I put a black one in today. And um, so it's just these new shorts I got from um, Kohl's and just uh just a long tank top i don't know where i got this either from Coles or lane bryant i buy a lot of my clothes from lane bryant but this is my outfit for the day it's 85 degrees today so it's supposed to be super hot and i'll figure out <laughs> which shoes i'm going to put on for today but here is aesthetica's jones in my outfit for today thanks for stopping by and i'll take you for end of day summary later on tonight all right, here is the end of the night. I literally forgot that I had a wig on. I, I, I was like, oh my God, I gotta film my end of the night. And I was like, wait a minute, like I got a wig on? So I totally forgot that I even had a wig on today. So um, I can't say that it's like the most flattering, like, um, like it's not the most flattering, but it's like a workhorse. Like, it's just like you're throwing go. Like, you just throw it on, go to the store, go to work. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's cute. It's like a cute little wig, but 
you know, like, do I feel gorgeous? Like when I put like, you know, the long ones on and stuff? No, but I feel cute, you know? I don't even feel like I have a wig on. So thumbs up. I highly recommend Aesthetica Jones. You don't feel like you even have a wig on. It's very, very lightweight. You know, it's like a choppy shag. So I give it a thumbs up. Oh my God, I got a fly in here driving me bonkers. All right, thanks for stopping by. Hit that subscribe, get notifications. All right, and I'll leave the links and everything down below. Bye.